hello everyone welcome back to my channel so this is an update on the book of shadows grimoire that i was trying to make in the style of like a junk journal and i'll never do it again i suck at it i just i am not a bookmaker i tried and i destroyed this poor book so it is 13 inches long by just over 10 inches wide this is an old lady gaga concert book um, I had a rip out about a hundred pages. Um, like I'll show you like after here, I ripped out like a ton of pages because the book was sitting at like about that. And I ended up breaking the spine. The book fell apart and it was horrible. And there's my cat Chansey. She's coming to say hello. Are you checking it out? Anyway, um, it just wasn't a very good experience and it was quite sad. So, uh, I try to salvage it as best I could and, um, it's not very pretty. So anyway, here's the first page and you're going to hear a bunch of background noise. Um, uh, my son is making supper or doing dishes or something. There's all kinds of noise and the other ones are gaming. They're down from BC visiting. Anyway, so this is A Witch's Book of Dreams for the Well-Read Witch. This is a laser cutout of a star. Here's a pocket. I trimmed it with red lace. This is a spell called The Goddess Within from one of my subscription boxes. Um, just hang on here. Oh, I thought I had some blank paper in here. Anyway, so I just made pockets here and there, tucked in things. This is just like a little book with some writing in it, trimmed pages with lace. This is a book blessing I had made. There's my name. I'm trying to cover that. Um, well, there's some paper. Anyway, um... I don't know if you guys want to hear the book blessing or not. It says, this grimoire has been crafted by my own hand. This grimoire is for my descendants, every child, woman, and man. Blessed these pages shall ever be knowledge passed down through eternity. As each of you learn and grow in your own way, call upon our ancestral line every time you pray. Fear not as you work your magic. Knowledge is power. Ignorance is tragic. For those who are not of my line and by happenstance find the sacred book of mine, return it to its rightful heir, and your life will be without mishap or care. If by chance my family line has come to an end, then I humbly ask of thee to carry on my life's work, my legacy. And then I signed it with my pagan name, my indigenous ceremonial name given to me from my grandfather as well as my legal name i kept this in here um lady gaga dedicated it to little monsters and a friend of mine gave me this stay weird sticker so i just threw it in there because i liked it and just a blank page a little pocket a uh, little bookmark I made with my son Dalton when he was in the Navy League. I think he was about 10 years old there. He was so cute. He was just a little guy. And uh, some more pockets. This is a Halloween, whoops, Halloween card from a friend of mine. Samhain card. So I just saved it as a keepsake. And there's like little... Halloween confetti in here. I think like, I don't know, bones or something. So I just save that and I tuck it in there. Another little pocket. Here's the wheel of the year. This is from one of my subscription boxes I used to get from Magic and Macabre. A little sigil. Another little secret pocket. This is black gesso that I had made and this here is the other kind of antique white gesso I made. Uh, I'm going to leave this page as is and then do like a glamour spell on this side. Some more blank pages 
And then here, <laughs> a little owl. Every time I looked at this page before there was anything on it, I kept seeing these two ovals here. And to me, it just reminded me of an owl. So then I just dedicated this page to like what owls signify. Just hang on here. Signify to a lot of indigenous cultures here on the prairies, as well as in our own family, what it represents. And uh, we also have an ancestor named White Owl. And then here's just like a little owl uh, bookmark I made. Well, I didn't make this part. This is uh, laser cut. And then I just, <laughs> the part I made is I literally just strung a ribbon on there. And then I made a little pocket for it to go over there. The trunk of the tree and the branch all talk about different goddesses that um, are connected with owls. So that's what that's all about. This is ancestral working that uh, I discussed. That's a memorial card for my Koka, my grandmother. And then this here is uh, blood magic and I just discussed different things. I'm trying to kind of keep it a little bit private. I am not uh, I don't like, like, you know, a lot of people say, well, I'm a, I'm a sea witch. I'm a Wiccan. I'm a this, I'm a that kind of thing. Um, I don't know. I, I really hate labels. I feel that they are somewhat restrictive, but at the same time, I get that people want to be able to belong to something. They want to connect to something. They want to have something that they can identify with and I, I don't consider myself Wiccan per se um more of just a, a pagan witch just a, a, a witch um I do honor the goddess and god and I, I do view divinity in many um as many facets and I see it being represented or personified in hundreds of different ways I, I'm not even going to get into that. We'll just get into this. So, um, but I do, my practice does include uh, working with things like blood, urine, um, different bodily fluids, that kind of thing. And I'm not squeamish about it. And it doesn't necessarily mean just, you know, moon time blood. It could be, you know, blood from a cut of whatever. So I know some pagans are, they don't, I'll work with that but anyway uh, this page had been gessoed with that antique white then I went over it in red and then I went over it in black and here's just some little secret pockets and then there's another secret pocket in here um, I'm gonna I like how this kind of turned out it kind of reminds me of flames and I'm probably just gonna talk about uh, fire divination on these pages here and then this one, I had squirted a bunch of paint on the page, smushed the book together, opened it up, created this. I created this goddess figure out of uh, some sparkly blue um, paper. This is a spell to slow down time. <laughs> I'm trying to keep things private and... You know, but you can see I'm not a, an artist. Like, it's just, you know, whatever. This is from a calendar that I really liked. And these are just blank pages. I'm trying to skip ahead. I know it's boring. Uh, connecting to the primal goddess and to your ancestors. Again, that also uses blood. I painted these with uh, black gesso. And then I went over it with mod podge and then I had glued down some lace around the edges when you put mod podge inside your book like this the pages will stick together and then when you pull them apart sometimes it will tear as you can see in here uh, you can sprinkle your pages with cornstarch that helps or you can just tuck in maybe a piece of tracing paper tissue paper maybe a piece of wax paper and it would help prevent that sticking and destroying anything that you create so i i like using the mod podge because if you don't um and some of my pages 
that have the black gesso at all mod podge and some I leave natural um, when you mod podge it it's just so nice and smooth and it's shiny and I really like the way it looks and it's so easy to work with when you leave it natural or like these ones aren't mod podged and you use like gel pens or whatever the gel pens can sometimes scrape away the gesso and uh, then you end up kind of wrecking it because this will scratch off and can scratch off fairly easily so yeah there's just that some more pockets I left this in here because she's got like fairy wings and I like that this is a bumper sticker I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet some more pockets this is a spell some tea that goes with the spell another hidden pocket just yeah talked I done a video about the mango powder so I talked about that um, this I wish I had put a uh, black gesso down on it first before I had glued this down I just took a piece of paper tore it in a design I liked burnt the edges and glued it down nothing too fancy this page um I have a spell in mind for this so that's why it looks like that this is from a calendar I painted it then I mod podged it I'm sorry that you're shaking um, like I said I'm doing this on my bed with a tripod so uh, here's another secret pocket here's another pocket with some artwork from a friend of mine I painted this green then I went over with gesso black just over top so you can kind of see like in here the green coming through I like that and then here is a spirit board slash pendulum board I had made I'd poured some black paint in here flipped the book shut open it up it kind of came out reminded me of kind of like a black bear and then I just used gel markers and then I went over top of it with Mod Podge to kind of seal it but then when you would close it it would stick I tried the cornstarch method and would still kind of stick so I done some directions here how to use the board and um, so that way I just flip it and it doesn't stick and it kind of protects it so there's that nothing too interesting this is a tri page fold out so again some more artwork I put it in the middle folds up like it so yeah, that's kind of what I've done. So I've got another page here, this fold outs. And uh, the rest is pretty much black gesso. Every once in a while, there'll be a plain white page. I just used coffee and tea and stained it. I made a very concentrated mixture of coffee and tea together and created this. Oddly enough, it smelled like smoke. Um, and because I don't smoke, it just reminded me of cigarette smoke for some reason. And then the final, the back cover, I put this sparkly black uh, paper and then I cut out this little window and then it says the little monster diary and that's it. So um, here you can see some of the damage to this book. But yeah, that's, that is the book and um, it's kind of sad it's not how I had envisioned it to be but I'm gonna use it anyway and once it's filled up and done I think I'll just go back to um, using binders but it was an experience <laughs> I am just not very artistic with regards to creating books and stuff but I have tried and I I know I failed miserably on this book but um still gonna use it it is what it is so anyway that's my my little sad flip through oh well hello Kiva have you come to check out the book have you come to check out the book what's that what's that she likes the ribbons This is my spoiled baby Kiva. Hey, what you doing? What's
what you're doing. Okay, that's it for now. Ciao.